Oh, I got it. Hi, hello, good morning. This past week, I decided to do something fun, which <laughs> for me, uh, fun means that I made a different smoothie every morning. Not sure what that says about me. I've made some of these recipes before, but some of them were brand new to me. This is a lot of fun. I've been trying to eat more fruit, and I feel like smoothies are definitely, for me at least, like the number one way to do that. So this was a great way to dip my toe into the smoothie pool. Metaphorically, of course. No toe content on YouTube. So starting off on Monday, I made this mango smoothie. Now, this is one that I have made before, but it's always delicious. Mangoes were on sale at my local Ralph's, and they're never on sale, and they're usually like $9 too. So this was really like a sign from the universe to me. smoothie. This was a new recipe for me. I've actually never had a cherry bakewell tart or a cherry bakewell flavored anything. I don't think cherry bakewell is really a thing here in America and especially not in Los Angeles. But this was super delicious. I'm a big fan of cherries and almonds so if you are too, there you go. Probably my favorite smoothie of the week. Uh, this is a banana free peach pie smoothie. This was so good. It has oats and yogurt in it, so it feels very filling and it's nice and tangy too. If you take away one thing from this video, please let it be this smoothie. It is so good. I made this blueberry pancake smoothie. Now, I think pancake is a little bit misleading in the title. It's a blueberry smoothie, albeit a very good one, but I don't really think that the label pancake is super fitting. I feel like the peach pie smoothie, it gets away with it. It feels like a peach pie, but this one, it's a blueberry smoothie, let's be honest. Still very delicious though.
Ironically enough, on the very last day of this week, I made the only recipe that I wasn't super crazy about. This is a creamsicle date shake, and it was just way too sweet for me. I've never had a huge sweet tooth, but this smoothie in particular really just like took it over the edge for me. I actually couldn't finish this, and that is very, very rare for me to not finish something that I make, especially something single serving like a smoothie. I also personally just can't stand food waste, so I always try my hardest to finish everything that I make or I'll just pawn the leftovers off on someone, but I just couldn't do it. I really couldn't do it. I don't know, if you're really into sweets, if you have like a huge sweet tooth, maybe this would be perfect for you. making smoothies. I really hope that you enjoyed this video because I just had the time of my life making it. I hope that I can inspire you to eat more fruit on this lovely day. Thank you so much for hanging out and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!